What's up, everybody? In this video, I know we've talked a lot about active recall and space repetition, cognitive load theory, Bloom's taxonomy, the forgetting curve, and all this other stuff. And I hope that you have a better understanding of memory and some of the active learning techniques that we'll be using in this course. So in this video, I want to go over how to actually use Anki and all the key features that it has to offer. So let's dive in. So to download Anki, you can do a quick Google search here. So to download Anki, we'll just go over to apps.ankiweb.net. If you'll click up here on download at the top of the website, it'll take you down to the bottom of the page and we'll see that you can download Anki for free for Windows, Mac, or Linux, Android. And keep in mind, there is a cost on iPhone, but I promise, like I said in that other video, it's worth its weight in gold. So I'm on Windows, so I'm just going to click on Download Anki for Windows 10 slash 11. Once you get that downloaded, you can click on that and run the program. Now, when you first launch up Anki, you're going to be prompted to create an account. So go ahead and set up your Anki web account. That's what's going to allow you to sync your Anki portfolio between devices. That's also going to allow you to access your decks and cards via the Anki web website. Although I've never used that and I recommend using the app, but nevertheless, it's there if you need it. So when you open up Anki, this is all going to be blank. And this is the central hub for all your decks and cards. And that way you can start organizing your classes and your folders how you like. And we'll get into that a little bit more in a bit. Down here, this is an add-on and I'll touch on that in just a bit. It's a really great feature. This allows you to see how many reviews you've been doing a day. It's really just nice aesthetically and it kind of keeps me motivated because I always like to outdo my previous streak. <laughs> and truth be told, I finally just got to 126 again. If you can see back here, I, during the end of my program, I messed, I messed up somewhere back here. I can't remember. But anyway, it, it's really nice to have and it keeps me motivated every day. And now that I'm back on 126, I intend to keep that going. Uh, but I digress. So this is the main central hub, the Dex tab. This is gonna house all your decks within your Anki portfolio. Now Anki describes it as parent decks or super decks. So as you can see here, if I expand on Sycamore, you'll see other decks pop up below here. These are sub decks. And sometimes you're gonna hear these referred to as a parent deck or main deck. As you can see here, I've got the University School of Nursing deck that I use throughout my nursing program. If I expand that, you'll notice that I have every single class that was in my program. And then if I expand even further, let's say 2410, you'll notice that I broke down each class within its respective unit. And then sometimes, I didn't get hip to this until the very end, and that's what I want to share with y'all. By the end of the program, I began breaking each unit down by each topic. I like this approach quite a bit. It helped out when I'm studying for the NCLEX if I wanted to really hone in on a specific topic that I was struggling with. So anyway, this is kind of a quick run through of how the decks stack on top of each other. I made my entire super deck called Sycamore because it's my favorite tree. My dad planted a lot of those out in our yard when we were kids and it's his favorite tree and well, it's become mine too. All right, now let's say you just started nursing school and you want to create your first deck that's going to house your entire nursing program within it. And to get started, we're going to come down here and we're going to click on Create Deck. And that's going to bring up our new deck name tab. So because I will eventually end up sharing all my Nursing Without Notes portfolio with everyone, let's go ahead and we'll start off with Nursing Without Notes. And I'm going to begin this deck with you all today. Now I'm gonna add in a stethoscope emoji. On Windows, it's the Windows key and period. That's gonna bring up your emoji keyboard. And I'm gonna add in a stethoscope. All right, I like the look of that. We're gonna hit okay. All right, now we've created our first deck. Now, if we click on that deck, we'll notice that it says, congratulations, you have finished this deck for now. Well, that's great because we don't have any cards in there, so there's nothing to study. So I guess that's good. All right, that's a wrap. Let's take the rest of the day off. No, I'm kidding. Um, so that brings us to our next tab up here, which is the Add tab. 
This is going to add a card to whatever deck you have highlighted. So since we're in the Nursing Without Notes deck, let's go ahead and click Add. And I'm going to expand this just so it's easier to see on screen for y'all. Whenever you go to add a card, this is what's going to pop up. Now, the first thing we want to look at is the card types. Now, there's only going to be three card types I go over in this video. And honestly, there's only three card types that I use. So because this isn't a full Anki tutorial, I'm not going to go over and bog you down with a bunch of other card types that I don't feel necessary for our immediate task here in nursing school. However, I do encourage you to take a look into different techniques that you might find useful. And if you do, let me know. So for the three card types that we're going to go over in this video, they're going to be basic, close, and image occlusion. So for this first card type, let's click up here on type and make sure we have basic selected. Now in this right hand corner, you're going to see nursing without notes right here beside deck. That signifies where we're going to be adding these cards to. So let's say you came across a piece of information while you were studying that was related to a different deck that you had created. So if you wanted to make a quick card and add it to another deck, instead of having to go all the way back out here and then go and locate your deck that you need to find it, you can actually just come back here and click on this, click on this tab. Let's say you wanted to add it to, I don't know, uh, College Physics 1. And we're going to choose that. Now, this is going to allow us to add a basic card into this deck. And we can make a new card real quick. Uh, <laughs> real quick. Enter that. And then now we could come right back over and search our Nursing Without Notes deck. And we're back to adding cards into this specific deck. So cards are essentially just like physical flashcards. You have a front and a back side. However, in Anki, when you flip the card, you're going to see the front and the back, which is very useful so you can see both pieces of information at the same time. So let me show you what I mean. So the front side, let's say, what is Anki? I'm going to hit tab there and then drop down to the back. And I'm going to say an intelligent an intelligent flashcard system. I can't type today. All right, now this is the front of the card and then this is the back of the card. So just like a physical flashcard, the front of this is gonna say, what is Anki? And when you hit show answer, it's gonna flip it, but not flip it. And you're gonna see the back side. You're gonna see what is Anki, an intelligent flashcard system. So to add this to our nursing without notes deck, we can come down here and click add. However, if we want to do it a faster way, we can. if we hover over here for a second, you'll notice that the shortcut comes up, Control-Enter. That works out so much faster when you're making cards. Now, I could go down here and click Add, or when I get through typing in the rest of the field, I can just hold Control and hit Enter real quick, and that'll add it into our deck. That shortcut makes making flashcards very efficient. So before I hit Control-Enter to add this card to our deck, I want to take a look down here at the bottom where it says tags. This tags feature allows you to tag your cards in a very specific and nuanced way, allowing you to go back in and make custom study sessions based on the tags that you would like to study. So it's a really kind of advanced technique, but I think if you can get in the habit of doing that up front, it's very beneficial. But I will be honest with you, I didn't discover the power of tags until right at the end of my nursing program. So when we go through our lectures, I will be using tags. And because you're going through with me, obviously you'll have the deck available to you, so you'll know the tags. But I recommend getting creative with it. And that way, if you want to study certain things, you have those tags in there already. When you go back to type it in, it'll pop up as a recent tag, so you won't have to type the full thing in. One of the added benefits of the tags is that after you've made a tag prior, it'll pop up as a recommendation as you type it in. So if you've made a tag prior, it'll pop up as a selection if you type in one or two letters, which makes it more efficient. So for this Nursing Without Notes deck, and this is an Anki tutorial, let's just tag our cards today, let's say with Anki. And as you can see here, it popped up a recent 
tag that I've used Anki before. So I'll click there. And now you can see that we have one tag down here, Anki. And then also we'll just type in flashcards. And as you can see, it pops up again. I can select that. All right, now let's do tutorial. Now, instead of hitting spacebar here, you're gonna hit the enter key and then bada boom, we've got a third tag in there. That's looking great. And you know what, just for fun, let's click down here and do nursing without notes. And these two colons appear when you hit space before hitting enter on your tag, separating the words. All right, there we go. Nursing without notes. All right, so now we've got the front and back and what is Anki? An intelligent flashcard system. So now we're gonna press control, enter. And now it's inserted that card into our deck. So as you can see, one of the main benefits of doing this is after we've added that card, you've noticed that these tags still remain here. So as long as you don't close out this add window, these four tags are gonna remain down here until you take them off or add to them. Now that makes it extremely beneficial when you're creating multiple cards on a specific topic. That way you're not constantly coming down here and adding these tags every time you add a card. That would be extremely tedious and I don't think that anybody would do that if, if that were the case because that would take forever. That is a good thing because these are gonna remain down here as long as you don't close out of the add window. Now that's, that's the basic card and I wanna show you what that's gonna look like here. So now you can see that within our new Nursing Without Notes deck, we have one new card, zero that we're learning, and zero due. So let's click on that. And then now that we're in this deck, let's just hit Study Now. And so now here at the top of the screen, you see the front side of our card. What is Anki? Now before flipping the card over, you wanna go ahead and answer the card either out loud or mentally. Either way is totally A-OK. -okay. I guess for the sake of this tutorial, we'll go ahead and do it out loud. Uh, what is Anki? Anki is an intelligent flashcard system. So now that I've answered that card, I want to go ahead and flip it over and see what the answer is and see if I got it right. So to flip over the card and see the back side, we're either going to hit spacebar or enter. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just hit spacebar and see what we got. And there's the back side, uh, an intelligent flashcard system. That's perfect. I got it right. So now here's the brilliant part about Anki is that it learns from you. So now you can tell Anki based on how you felt about answering that card, what level of difficulty it was for you. So the default settings for you didn't know it are one. So again, you're going to see it in less than a minute if you got it wrong. If you thought it was hard, it's going to you're going to see it in six minutes. If you thought you answered it good, you're going to see it in 10 minutes. And then if that was just easy breezy, you can hit easy and you'll see it in four days. I don't recommend hitting easy until you've studied it multiple times and you, cause you wanna see it more frequently. If you hit it easy, it's gonna signal to the algorithm that you don't need to see it very often. And when it's a new card, you wanna see that a lot of times up front, especially if it's in the unit you're currently studying. If that's already in your main deck in a past class and you're just doing that as part of your routine long-term study, then by all means hit easy and you'll see it longer out there. But if it's in your current unit, I recommend staying with the either good or again. And that's just my personal opinion because I don't like getting too bogged down on all the crazy algorithm settings. Whenever you're studying a unit, you really just want to study just that unit within that time frame. And I'll show you how to later of actually resetting the whole entire deck. That way you're doing it again and again constantly. But we'll get into that in a bit. So with the default settings, when a card is brand new and it's not a mature card, you're going to have to get it right twice within a day before it goes to the next day, which then, if you got it right, it would go ahead and go further into the algorithm. So for our first day, and this is a new card, I'm going to say good. And then also, bear in mind too, if you don't want to use your mouse to click on these buttons, Spacebar will also be good again, but if you notice, if we hover over these buttons, the shortcut keys come up one, two, three, and four. So if you've got a 10 key over here on the right side of your keyboard, 
you can just hold all four fingers there and just go one, two, three, and four on that enter. And that way you can get real speedy with your cards. You can also buy a controller for your PC and program the buttons to uh, flip through your cards with a controller. But that's all highly customizable stuff we won't get into here. All right, so we're going to just hit enter again over here on our 10 key and flip it to good. Now it pops this card back up to us. And you'll see down here now that we've got one red card, which means we've got one card learning. And this is coming right back to us because obviously we don't have any other cards in the deck. Now we've got one that we're learning. So what is Anki? Anki is an intelligent flashcard system. So let's flip it over. And I've got it right. Now, if I hit good again down here, if I hit spacebar or enter or click here, that's going to tell me that I won't see it. I've got it good and I won't see it again till tomorrow. But if I hit hard, I'll, I'll see it again. And that's going to play into the algorithm. So depending on how you answer these cards will determine Anki's frequency at which it shows it to you again. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and say, no, I got that wrong. Now, that card's still in the deck and it's still being studied. But I'm going to end our session there. And we're going to go back to adding cards. So we'll click on add. The next card type I'm going to show you is the close deletion card. I think the close is the goat, to be honest. But... You know, you, you make your mind up about that later. So let's click on close and we're in the right deck. And let's go ahead and add our tags back in. We got Anki, flashcards, and I'll just hit arrow up and enter on that. And then we'll go tutorial. Did I not add that in? Okay, tutorial and then nursing without space notes. All right, we'll add our four cards there. Now, the beauty in the closed deletion card is it's going to take a body of text and you're going to be able to delete or hide a portion of that text and test yourself over that said information. To demonstrate, let's take uh, the phrase Anki is an intelligent flashcard system. And this is a closed deletion card type. On the closed deletion, let's say we're going to test ourselves over this portion of this text. Now up here we have these little three dots within these parentheses. And if we click there, that's going to add those brackets and that C1, two colons, Anki. So this portion of the text now is going to be considered closed. This is our closed deletion. Now we're going to be tested over the C1, this closed deletion. And if you want to add a hint, here you can type in another two colons behind what you're closing off and then type in a hint that you'll see on the front side of the card so let's say let's just say application that's what we're to give ourselves a hint and then now we're going to hit control enter and we're going to add that and so now we've got that added in and i'll minimize that now within our deck, we can see that we've got one new card now, and then we've got one learning card. So this is that basic card we're still learning, and this new one card is our closed deletion. So let's go ahead and study now, and I'll show you what they look like. What is Anki? An intelligent flashcard system. I'm going to hit spacebar, and I'm going to say we're good on that. But as you can tell, this card is brand new now in the deck, and I'm going to have to get it right twice in a row before we send it to that next day. So I'm just going to hit good. All right, now we've got our closed deletion card up. And then as you can tell, we've got our hint that we typed in on that back side behind those two colons. So this card essentially reads, blank is an intelligent flashcard system, and this is a closed deletion card type. And application is my hint. I'm going to say that this answer is Anki. I'm going to hit enter. And this shows us the back of the card now. Now we can determine the level of difficulty this card was which obviously by now we should be getting a hang of it and we're gonna say good. But now let's take a look at something else. I'm gonna go back to that card by pressing Control Z. That's, that's how you undo an answer. Say, so by hitting Control Z, it'll take you back to the previous card. That's your undo key. I'm gonna hit down here and hit edit on this card. So now let's say I wanted to test myself on two parts of this sentence. So what I'll do is I'll come over here and I'll select close deletion because I want to test myself on that part as well. I can come up here and click this close deletion button. 
or I can hit Control Shift C, and that'll also close out that closed deletion text. Now you'll notice here that I've got C1 and C2 now. And what that means is that's creating two different flashcards now. So a first flashcard is gonna test on that front part of the sentence, and the second card is gonna test on this back side. So this card is gonna end up looking like this. Application is an intelligent flashcard system, and this is a closed deletion card type. So this is Anki. I'm gonna hit good, we're gonna move on. And now the third card pops up. This is that last new one down here. Now we're gonna test ourselves on this part of the sentence. So Anki is an intelligent flashcard system and this is a blank card type. Well, this is none other than a closed deletion card type. We'll flip the card and good as we got it right. All right, so I'm gonna say good on that. That is excellent. So now let's go back to our deck and I've already got our ad window still pulled up here. All right, for this last card type, I wanna show you the image occlusion tool. Now the image occlusion tool is an add-on just like this frozen field section down here. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. So just know for this part, you're gonna have to add on this feature in this card type if you are following along. So let's take a screenshot of the muscle groups here in the leg. So let's take a screenshot of the superficial muscles of the right lower leg. So in Windows, it's Windows key Shift S. And that's gonna bring up our screenshot tool. And we're gonna take this little screenshot right here. Now that that screenshot's copied, let's come into our Nursing Without Notes deck and then go to Add. And then this is the part that I was talking to you about that'll be add-on. This is the image occlusion tool. So we're just gonna click that. So because we've already copied that picture with the snip tool, that's gonna pop up beautifully right in here in our image occlusion tool. So you're gonna naturally see these like grayed out borders around your picture like you see here. What I like to do is come down to this magnifying glass down here in the left corner, and we're just gonna click there and then hit fit to canvas. And that's gonna fill the canvas. Now we wanna make sure our rectangle tool over here is highlighted. And we'll come down and we'll select our favorite color. I think I'll choose this light orangish type color, I guess. Kinda of like that flamingo in the Gmail. Uh, video. So now the cool thing about image occlusion is now that we have this image, instead of making text flashcards, what we can do is we can blot out certain portions of images and then that way we can test ourselves over it. So these muscles of the right lower leg, now that we have this highlighted and our color picked, let's just drag this over. We're going to blot that out. Same with the gastric is here. Now we've made one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six different cards here now that we've just made. Now to add these cards into the deck, we'll come down here to the bottom right hand corner and you get two options here. So you can do hide all guess one or hide one guess one. So if you click hide one guess one, you're gonna add six cards to your deck. So what happens if you hide one guess one is when you come to this card and let's say you get tested on this blotted out muscle right here. So what's gonna happen is when you come to get tested on this part of the card right here, all the names down here of all these other muscles are gonna be revealed. So what's gonna happen is, is you're gonna be testing yourself on one part of the muscles here in this picture, but then you're gonna inadvertently be looking at the answers to all the other five cards uh, while you're studying that one. If you wanna do it that way, that's totally fine. But I like doing it individually. That way I don't give away the answers to any of the other ones while I'm trying to actively recall the information. That way I'm staying very true to myself and my self-assessment of how well I know the knowledge. In order to do that, I like to do hide all guess one. And see when I hit that, now we've got six new cards added to our deck. So we can just close out of that and then now we can go back to our deck and now we see that we've got six new cards and then we're learning three. So let's hit study now and I'll show you what the image occlusion is gonna look like in your deck. What is Anki? It's an intelligent flashcard system. Flip it over with enter or spacebar. An intelligent flashcard system. Way to go, everybody. It's good. Now that we're getting it right twice now, we're gonna go on to the next day and that's gonna be out of our deck, not for review and not for due. 
for the rest of the day until it comes back up in the algorithm, which will be tomorrow. And it's timing. So we'll hit good. Blank is an intelligent flashcard system, and this is a closed deletion card type. All right, well, this is Anki as well. All right, good. Now that's going to give us two in a row that we've got this card right based on our own self-assessment and, you know, feeling about the card. So that's good. We're going to hit enter. Now for the second part of this card, we've got Anki is an intelligent flashcard system, and this is a closed deletion card type. Beautiful. We've got that right. Now we're going to hit good, and we're going to see that tomorrow. Now this brings us to the superficial muscles of the right lower leg. You can notice that we have this reddish color down here indicating that that is the portion of this picture that we're being tested upon. So now that we're being tested on this portion down here, we're not giving away the answers to these other five cards. And because we're going to inadvertently see the names to these muscle groups, that's not going to be a real good assessment on how well we're able to actively recall that from memory alone. This is the good part about that hide, hide all guess one. So we're going to answer the card just like you would the other basic and close by hitting enter to show the back side of this card. On here, I'm going to guess that this is pointing to the calcaneal or the calcaneus rather. And cool. Yeah, that's the hill. So I feel really good about that. I'm going to say that's a good. Now that we've answered this part, you can see that now it's in the learning phase. And now we've moved up to this card, which is pointing right here, which is going to be the plantaris. And I feel pretty good about that. That's going to be good. This is the Achilles tendon or hill. And I feel good about that. Moving on up, that's the gastrocnemius, the lateral head to be specific. Uh, so I'm going to hit again because I wasn't paying attention to the different heads. So I'm going to hit again, see that again. And this is going to be the gastrocnemius, the medial head. I'm going to say good. And this is the soleus, which lies basically right underneath that gastrocnemius. Perfect. Ten. And now we're back up to this one that I missed. And we're still in the learning phase still. So I'm going to say that's the lateral head of the gastrocnemius. And now you can notice that it's going to be still 10 minutes because I got it wrong. So I'm going to say good. We got the plantaris. And then we're back to the lateral head of the gastrocnemius. And then we'll just finish these out. Calcaneus and the soleus. And that medial head of the gastrocnemius. And back down to the calcaneal heel, Achilles heel. Achilles tendon, rather. All right. That's good. All right, well, that finishes up that deck for all the cards we've created. Now let's move on over to the Browse feature. Now this Browse feature can be really overwhelming when you first open it up and you see all this stuff over here on the left side. And I want to walk you through just a bit of it. And, then, and you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. First, let's just close everything out that's expanded, which makes it look like a mess at first and really take a look at what's going on in this browse feature. The browse feature just allows you to view your entire Anki portfolio. It breaks everything down for you in your Anki portfolio and allows you to search and edit and everything in between. And it's very useful, especially if you want to get really specific and do advanced techniques. But let's look at just the basics. Over here on the top left, you can look at today. And today's just going to show you what all's due today in all your decks. You can see what all you've added today, which you can see that we've added all this into our new Nursing Without Notes deck. And then you can see the sort field, the card type, and the due date is the date that Anki's going to show it to you again based on the difficulty and how you've ranked the cards as you've studied. So as you can see, we're going to see all these tomorrow. It's the 24th today. So we'll see all these tomorrow morning. And this will show you the deck that it's in. You can see what you've done today edit-wise. We've done those. You can see what all you've studied today. Your first review. Your rescheduled. Your agains. And then your overdue cards, what you haven't got caught up on. Under that, you have all the flags where you can flag different card types. So you can see card states, which will show you new cards, learning cards, review cards, suspended cards. 
you can see these are all classes that I've already completed and I don't need to revisit anymore or don't need to revisit now anymore. And then buried cards. Then you have your decks. And within decks, you can search your entire decks up here in the search tab. So here's my chemistry, my Tagalog, my university school nursing. So essentially, this is just showing you everything that's out there on that Dex tab within the main screen of Anki. It's just within here, you can see all the cards within the deck, and you can edit them over here on the right side, but also you can search within these decks within the Browse feature. So let's say I want to search my entire Sycamore deck. That encompasses all my decks within Anki, and I want to see everything that I've got on Mitochondria. And I can search, and now it shows me all my cards and what deck they're in over mitochondria. Now I can create a specific study deck for that information if I'd like. Or maybe I just wanted to look over a few of my old cards on mitochondria just to look something up. Well, it's all right here and I can find that super quick and easy here in the browse feature. But let's say I want to just search just my university school nursing deck. And maybe I want to know about just diabetes. Now that's going to filter out any card in my deck that has the word diabetes in it. So I can go back through and add to these cards or I can make specific decks for them. It makes it really highly customizable and it essentially creates a second brain of information within Anki for me. And while we're here, let me show you an example of what not to do. Look at this card right here and tell me how ridiculous this is. This is one of my first nursing classes. What are the common causes of dehydration? And sometimes I tag the end of the cards with the number of answers on the outside with that number X. So what are the common causes of dehydration? 19 X. I put all 19 of these signs and symptoms over here. That is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why I thought that that would be okay to try to answer that amount of information. And I really did sit there try and try to memorize that many back then. That was in my first year. And this is what I want you to avoid. This is a nightmare situation. And we'll go over that in further detail later. But it's just, I'm glad this popped up because I want you to see that you should please don't do this. This is horrible. Yeah, so <laughs> please do not do this. This is wild. I can't believe I even did that to begin with. I'm telling you, it took me two years to finally get the hang of all this. That's why I'm glad you're here with me and I'm going to save you all that trouble. So down here at this very bottom, we've got tags. And this makes it where you can search each tag that you've created within all the decks that you've made. So let's see here. We'll click on this Anki. Now you can see that we've got two cards that we've made today. Then we've got, we did what, flashcard. We did tutorial. And then we did um, we did flashcards. So we these are the tags we added in a day. And you can actually go in and make your own custom study deck with those tags. This can get very, very detailed. Like DNA, I like that. Acute kidney injury. You can see that you can get really customizable with, with all the tags and the decks and the hierarchies. It's really wonderful once you get the hang of it, I promise. I know it might seem a little bit overwhelming right now, but I promise once we get going through the lectures, you're going to fall in love with this and you're going to understand the beauty and the power that Anki has to offer. All right, let's go back to the start here. So before we move over to stats, let's go back into our Nursing Without Notes deck. So we've already studied all the cards we've made for that deck today. So we're caught up, but what if I want to study those cards again? Or I want to just study the specific cards we made tags for? Well, that's what I want to show you with this custom study feature. So when we click custom study, it's going to bring up this box right here. So let's say we want to study the cards we made tags for in this deck today. We'll click on study by card state or tag. We can select the amount of cards we want from the deck. Say we don't have 100 in there, so we don't need to set a maximum. <laughs> that's going to be good. Uh, but we want to see all cards in random order. We want that interleaving. You know, I, I don't ever want to see things in a linear fashion the way we've learned them. I like to pull from different areas of my brain, make those connections, and I'll show you something else in features here or in the settings here in just a second 
that actually randomizes all your cards and it doesn't show it just in a certain sequence. But anyway, we'll, we'll select all cards in a random order. Don't reschedule. That don't reschedule means it's not going to affect the algorithm. So when we studied these separately, where it showed that it's due tomorrow, it's not going to affect the algorithm or when it's due or its timing. This is just separate and just studying it outside of the algorithm. We're going to choose tags, and we're going to require one or more of these tags. So we made all these. I'm just going to say, let's get all these. I think we only made like two or three cards. Say OK. And now you can see we've created a custom study session. So as you can see here, this is a special deck for studying outside the normal schedule, like I was telling you. Cards will automatically be returned to their original decks after you review them. Deleting this deck from the deck list will return all remaining cards to their original deck. So after we're done with this, it's not going to affect the original position of these cards in their original decks or their original schedule. So after we're done with these cards, they're going to go back to their original deck and their normal schedule, and it's not going to affect any of that. That's the great part of this. All right, now we're on this custom study session. Let's go ahead and study now. Anki is an intelligent flashcard system, and this is a closed deletion card type. Now, if you notice down here on the bottom, you're not going to see all those options for the different ways you can answer it because this is outside of the normal schedule, so it's not going to affect anything. So you can either hit again like you got it wrong, or you can just hit good, and that's going to say good, and it's going to be done. It's going to get out of the deck. So let's just hit good. All right, it's out. Now we've got one left that says in the green, this is due. So now application is an intelligent flashcard system, and this is a closed solution card. And we're going to flip it. That's Anki. And in, good, we're done with that deck. And then now, go back out to the start, and you'll see this custom study up here. And if you want to get rid of that, you can just hit delete. And now you're back to normal, and those cards, as you can see, are still, there's no new, no learn, no do. Because we're going to see those cards pop up tomorrow whenever they're scheduled to be due again. To save all our progress, we can just hit sync. So this sync feature is what's going to allow you to save all your Anki portfolio and all your data and progress to the Anki web cloud, which is what's going to allow you to go back and forth between devices as you please, which makes it so helpful, especially for me. I love going back on my phone and then on my computer. It's a total game changer, really. So next up, we've got the stats. I'm going to click on Sycamore real quick because we don't have any stats in that Nursing Without Notes deck that we just created. So we'll click on stats here, and this is just going to give you literally a bunch of statistics. I know some people will really like to dive into this. I don't get too crazy about all these. I think it's really neat to see. I just like seeing the review heat map and that I'm being consistent. I really like that. I honestly haven't really dug into a lot of these deep details in here. But, you know, for me, I've got such limited time. I need to be spending time on my cards and not looking at these really neat details about how many cards I've done or whatever else. But I do think this is super cool. It's, it is very analytical, and I think it's a great feature. You can go back and forth in time or the decks or all history. It's just it's really cool stuff. Uh, I personally don't get too involved with it, but I do like looking at it occasionally just to see the progress, you know. But I kind of accomplished that with my review heat map down here and then get really sad when I accidentally miss a day when I get too busy and ruin my streak. But whatever. I'm already back there and I'm at the I'm at the longest streak I've ever been on so far. And hopefully I can keep this going. All right. So that pretty much gives you a quick overview on everything in Anki, enough for us to get started to go into our lectures. But one last thing before we wrap up this video, I want to show you how to add on the two add-ons I use. All right, so we want to go up to tools and go to add-ons. Now, add-ons are very easy to add on, and I only use two. There's a there's a lot of great add-ons on Aki Web, and I do recommend you kind of looking at the add-on page and seeing what you got going on. But the only two I use is the image occlusion enhanced, which I showed you an example of with the leg muscles, and then the review heat map is what you see here. So I'll just go to view add-on page to look at this one. But on AnkiWeb.net is where you'll see all the different types of add-ons. And essentially what you do is you click on an add-on that you like. You can read the description, reviews, and all this good stuff. So the part you really need is this part down here on the page where they have a code. And what you'll do is you'll copy and paste that code. So in order to add this on, you're going to click Get Add-ons, and then you're going to paste that code into the code down here in this Install Add-on window. 
And then you're just going to hit OK. And when you hit OK, it's going to recognize that code and then it's going to install the add-on. And then all you have to do from there is just restart Anki and then your add-on has been successfully installed. You can also check for updates for any add-ons that you have. But I only use these two and honestly, those are the only two I feel like you really need. Now there used to be an add-on that I used in an older version called Frozen Fields. You don't have to use Frozen Fields anymore because Anki has added in a feature that does the same thing naturally within the newer versions. And I'll show you what that is. So when you come up to your decks and you go to add a card, Frozen Fields used to have like a snowflake in where each of these toggles are. And basically what happens is, is when you selected those, whatever was in those fields when you added that card stayed there. So you could still use that information when you're adding more cards. All right, so let's use this as an example. Um, Let's take this screenshot real quick again of this, and we'll do back extra. Now let's say we want to use this picture for the back side of multiple cards. Now what we can do is just click this toggle sticky right here. I think that's what they're called, toggle sticky, yeah. You'll click this toggle sticky here. Now that that's selected, let's write a couple cards real quick. Let's say, what is the muscle superficial to the soleus? And I'll write gastric nemius. All right, and this is a closed deletion, so I'll select that and then do our Control Shift C. We'll close that out. What is the muscle superficial to the soleus? But now when we answer the card, we're gonna see this in the back side. So now we can do Control Enter. Okay, so now we've added that card, but, but you can see here that this stayed. Whenever you have a toggle sticky field, selected when you go to add that card whatever is in that field is going to stay in order for you to use again so now with this toggle sticky selected in this back extra field i can continue making cards with this image in the back extra field without having to continually add it in every time i make a card that makes for really efficient card making especially when you're making multiple cards over one piece of image or text that you'd like to have as supplemental information on the back side of your cards I just wanted to show you that because that was an old feature, but now Anki has got that already built in with the toggle stickies. And it's, it's another one of those game changers that I loved when they finally added that in. Those are just a couple of the add-ons I use. Feel free to go looking all through the add-ons webpage. There's a lot of good stuff out there. I just like to keep it bare minimum and simple and straightforward and get straight to the cards. But by all means, take your Anki to the next level, get different backgrounds, colors. There's a lot of different stuff you can do. But for the simplicity of the nursing without notes method, all you really need is that review heat map and your image occlusion tool and you're good to go. All right, well, there you have it. How to use Anki and a brief overview of the application. In the following videos, I'm gonna share how I organize my decks throughout my nursing program and also talk a little bit about the minimum information principle in order that you avoid those crazy flashcards with 19 pieces of information on the back of them like I showed you earlier. I hope that you've learned a lot in this video and I'll see you in the next one.